Hey, this is Sarah with RegisteredNurseRN.com and today I am making a video on how to insert a Foley catheter on a female patient. In the previous video, I showed you how to open up your Foley kit and I um, educated you on what was actually in the kit and how to um, inflate the balloon and mess with the betadine and everything like that. So if you need to get familiar with that, you'll want to check out that video before actually watching this video. So in this video, I'm going to actually show you how to insert a Foley catheter from beginning to end. Uh, right here we have Miss Smith. She is our mannequin patient today. And you'll want to, before you even insert the Foley catheter, you'll want to discuss it with your patient to make sure that that is something that they want. You'll want to discuss um, how it's inserted, what position they'll be in, that they'll be exposed momentarily in their private region, and the risk of um, a Foley catheter insertion. So always let them be aware because believe it or not, a lot of patients don't know what a Foley catheter is or where it's actually inserted. So you always want to let your patient know about that. Next, you'll want to address their allergies because in the kit, there's betadine. A lot of patients are allergic to betadine, so you'll need to get another prep agent or if they're allergic to latex. This kit that I have, it does contain some latex. So you want to make sure your patient is allergic to latex, and if they are, what type of reaction is it? Is it severe, is it moderate, or is it really not a reaction, they just consider it a reaction? So you'll want to look at that as well. So first thing we'll do, um, after we've educated our patient, we will um, get our Foley kit and do hand hygiene. After that, um, you'll want to get your patient in position. It's really a good idea to have another person in the room to help you. And just because the nature of the procedure, you're gonna be in a patient's private area, you want another person with you. So you can get a nursing assistant or another fellow nurse to help you out. So get your patient in position. For females, I like to get them in this position. Put the legs up and um, try to preserve modesty as much as you can. A lot of people are modest. This is sort of, of an embarrassing position to be in. So try to make them feel as comfortable as possible. I had one patient tell me that um, a Foley catheter insertion is just as bad as a pap smear. So please try to make them feel comfortable. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pull the towel back and um, let your patient know everything that you're doing. I'm gonna pull the towel back and um, expose the the labia and the vaginal area. Um, on a female patient, you have um, two um, labia and you have the um, urethra, which is the entrance to the bladder, and then below that is another entry, and that's the va vaginal area, and then the bottom is the anus. So that's how you have that on a female. Next, you'll want to go to your kit. Um, your kit comes in a plastic bag. Be sure you grab the correct kit. Some kits in the clean hold are just the Foley bag. Um, other kits are just the prep supplies. So you'll want to, if you're inserting a brand new kit, that you have the Foley bag and the prep supplies. This one has that. So you will open up your kit. They just peel back like this. I like to use this plastic part as my trash bag um, because it's just easier because I'm going to have cotton balls to throw away, things to throw away, so it's easier just to access that and throw it away than reach for a trash can or throw it in the patient's bed. So you'll pull your kit out. It will come draped with this drape and um, it's sterile on the inside. <clears throat> I just take my back and pull it, pull it back like that. And I like to set my bag in between the patient right there so I can just drop it in. Okay, the kit you will pull back. You have two inches around the edge of your sterile field to pull back and to expose the kit. So we will do so. Everything in the kit is sterile, okay? So you'll want to be careful when accessing it because you don't want to contaminate it. Usually how your kit is laid out, it's laid out by how you will use it. The first thing I'm going to use is a drape. I'll take my drape. Remember, you have two inches to grab without contaminating this. And this drape will be used to um, put around our patient. I have two inches, so I'm still sterile. And we'll just put that around the vaginal area down here just to protect any area. And sometimes you have to mess with it. It's a little bit complicated. It likes to crinkle up. And it'll just lay like that. Um, next, you have your sterile gloves. 
and with your sterile gloves, you can put those on because once you put your sterile gloves on, you can get in the kit and mess with everything because you will be um, sterile. And I have a video on how to put on sterile gloves. If you don't know how to put on sterile gloves, there's a certain technique to doing that. So you'll want to watch that video. And you can adjust your gloves once you get them on. Sometimes they like to stick. So you have your gloves on and I'm just going to throw that away over there in my trash can. And this is another drape. I um, use that sometimes, sometimes I don't, it really depends. But we'll just easily lay that down. Be careful when you lay it down because you don't want to contaminate your gloves. So just lay it down just like that. And um, next what we're going to do we're going to get our betadine and you have your tweezers so get your betadine there's a little tear opening on it sometimes it's a little complicated right there's a little slit you're going to just tear it open and you're going to drizzle it onto the cotton balls you have six cotton balls so just drizzle it like so and miss smith is not allergic to betadine so that is why i'm using betadine then just put that in your trash can and I like to let that set and get all good and beta have beta dye on it and next you will have your flush not your flush I'm sorry your sterile water to um, inject into the bulb of the foley because you always want to make sure that your foley bulb works um, one time I was inserting a foley catheter and the bulb did not work, so um, I had to get a new catheter kit. So believe it or not, the foley bulbs sometimes don't work. And then this right here is your lubricant that you will actually lubricate the catheter. And this is if you had to collect any urine because the doctor wanted a specimen. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to check my foley catheter bulb. To do that, I'm going to get my catheter. This thing is in a little protectant. This is your catheter. This is actually what's going to go inside of the urethra. You will um, want to connect this, take this part off, and you will connect this into this port right here. There's two ports. This port right here is where you access for a specimen. This is where you're going to inflate. A lot of times it says inflate 10 cc's. So you're just going to connect to that and watch this bulb make sure it inflates and see how that inflates like that and insert all the sterile water and just look at your bulb make sure that it doesn't leak it's good and make sure it deflates too i usually look at it for about 15 to 30 seconds and just let go of the plunger on the syringe and see if it deflates, which it does. Works great. I like to keep this protectant on it until right before I insert because this thing likes to move and it can just go off the sterile field and then that's just an extra barrier to prevent it from getting contaminated. So I'll just set that aside. Um, next what you can do is get your lubricant. Comes in a little pre-filled syringe. Um, sometimes it comes in this little thing that you just tear off and you just squirt out. This one has a syringe. I like to just squirt it in my tray like that. And then just throw that away. And um, so we have our betadine with our on our cotton balls. And we have our lubricant. And then we have our Foley catheter. I notice I kept the syringe connected to the Foley catheter, so whenever I actually insert, I don't have to move and fiddle with this and try to get it reconnected. It just makes it a lot easier to keep it connected, so once you are inside the bladder and you get your urine returned and you inflate the bulb, you don't have to try to find your syringe. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to clean the labia. Now when you do this, 
you'll want to use your non-dominant hand to spread the labia apart so you can clean with the betadine because once that hand touches the patient, it's non-sterile. So you cannot bring that hand back to your kit. You're going to have to work with your dominant hand. So it's very important whenever you're positioning, positioning yourself on the bed that you position yourself so you can work more with your dominant hand. So first what we're going to do, we're going to go to our patient and we're going to spread out the labia and just warn your patient that it will be cold and that you're just cleaning the area with some betadine. You're going to go, you're going to start and go from top to bottom. So you're just going to slide that like so. Drop cotton ball, get another one. Going to do the other side. Going to slide through there, really making sure you get the area clean very well. And go down the middle like that. And then just keep doing it until you run out of your cotton balls. Following the same pattern. This just prevents any chances of the patient getting a UTI or any contamination from the normal flora that's in the vaginal area. Then you're done with your tweezers, so just put that in your bag. Next, you'll want to get your Foley catheter. And be very careful when you take this out because it likes to move. Okay, you're going to take this end of this catheter and you're going to really lubricate it up. Really dip it in there, get it nice and lubricated. Okay, then you're going to bring it over here to the patient. And you're going to find where the urethra is. On many female patients, this is a little complicated. It's a little hard. You really got to get down there and you got to look because sometimes the urethra gets displaced up inside the labia. It's very hard to see. Sometimes you insert it in the vagina. So um, it takes some practice. Okay, so we have this. This is the mannequin, so it's very easy to see. You're going to insert inside the hole. Okay, you're going to keep going. Okay, and while you're doing this, you're going to be looking right in that tube, okay? Because once you hit that tube, you're going to see some yellow urine. And um, typically, you would start right now seeing some yellow urine. Peel in this chamber right here, the tube. And whenever I see that, I like to advance a couple more inches just to make sure it's in the bladder because you don't want the bulb to fill up in between the bladder and the urethra. You wanna make sure that bulb fills up in the bladder because that will cause the patient a lot of pain. So we have yellow urine. We're gonna insert just a couple more inches and then we're gonna inflate our bulb. Okay, our bulb is inflated. Then going to just undo that, put that in your trash can and just tug it out and it'll stay right in place. So we have our Foley catheter inserted and you'll want to get one of the secure things that secure to the thigh and it'll stay right there on the patient. And you'll take your Foley catheter and you will connect this down to the bed because this is where all the urine will collect in this chamber right here. And if you had to collect a specimen, you could have your syringe and you could connect to this part right here and suck out any urine and collect that. And um, after you do that, just connect it to the bed and get your patient all disconnected here and get them covered up and reposition them and make them feel a lot more comfortable and ask the patient if there's any pain, how does it feel to her, um, those things help you know if it's okay. Um, take your gloves off, of course, and then do hand hygiene. So that's how you insert the Foley catheter. Um, it's a very simple procedure. It does take practice. So doing it over and over again will help you. Um, if you're in nursing school, using the mannequin in class is very helpful. Um, you get a lot of skills with this. You get your sterile gloving down. You get your sterile technique, how to insert a Foley catheter on a patient. You learn a lot of different skills. So I think that's why in nursing school, they have us do that a lot. 
So if you like this video, please share it with your friends. If you need to watch a video on how to put on sterile gloves or you need more explanation on the Foley kit, please check out those other videos. And thank you so much for watching.